my beautiful earth angels welcome back to another reading this is going to be a bit about a situation that you're in right now um and what it has to offer you or show you or just more information or clarity that is going on uh in a situation right now hopefully i explained that okay i feel like i really muddled that up but you get the point guys <laughs> These are the three piles we have here today. Pile number one with adaptability, pile number two with the trans with transform, and pile number three with spell jar. So these are three piles. There'll be timestamps in the description below, like always. So when you know which pile uh, is yours, you can click on them and be taken straight to your reading. You guys, it's always perfectly fine to be drawn to more than one pile. And I feel like in this reading, you'll know pretty quickly if you have chosen the pile for you because they were quite specific messages that came through. So hopefully you enjoy you guys and hopefully you get some clarity, confirmation or just some resonation for your situation right now. Oh, resonation for your situation. But yeah, so I love you all so much. Hope you're having a beautiful day whenever you're watching this. Uh, a link in the description will be there for my website as well with my digital art and also my depop crystal jewelry page if you live in the uk with that all being said you guys i will speak to you in your reading i love you loads so beautiful part number one so if you chose this adaptability card this is going to be your reading uh for your current situation something about your current situation right now so we're going to know pretty quick if this is the right pile for you because the, your message today is regarding a situation or uh, that's been causing frustration. There could have been things that turned out or didn't turn out how you kind of expected or wanted or had been trying or to manifest them to turn out. Maybe you face some delays or there's some blocks or challenges right now in a current situation that are causing frustration for you. Um, well, as I said, it's just like not how you pictured it turning out. So if that is sounding like a situation you're currently in, this is going to be your reading. This is all about learning to become adaptable to these twists and turns. I feel like something has taken a turn for you in an unexpected way recently. So we also have the card do it for you with the sundress. And this is a girl just really embracing her power, her authenticity, standing in her power as well. Yeah, and uh, creating a really beautiful, solid foundation for herself out of her own self-worth. So this is like this situation that's like not turned out how you've been <clears throat> wanting or something. Or it's just been causing like a few challenges or frustrating or difficult energies to work through. It's really been growing your sense of inner empowerment and like your self-worth and your boundaries as well. But we're going to read deeper into what this is. Um, what is this thing that's causing the frustration for you guys? Oh, okay, so this came out straight away. So we've got the Five of Cups reversed. Very interesting. <sighs> okay, so the Five of Cups does indicate energies of kind of sadness, of loss. Maybe like sadness that something went wrong or something happened, you know? This is like... It's, it's exactly the same in these two things. She's rolling and then it breaks, you know? She's uh, got her eggs in her basket. She's been nurturing them and then it breaks. So it's like something could have happened recently to make you feel a sense of loss or frustration. That, some yeah, something's happened that it, it didn't cause very nice emotions for you because you didn't expect it to happen or because it's not necessarily... A nice thing to happen or it's just it's really just out of your hands or it's out of your control maybe let's get another card confirmation for you guys okay with the moon here as well oh my goodness you guys <sighs> and the page of cups so this could be to do with a relationship especially with the page of cups here as well this could be to do with like your feelings, emotions, really standing back in your own power. Maybe something's happened recently um, to cause like an energy of confusion in some way. <clears throat> Sorry, I just have to clear my throat. Maybe there's something about communication. Um, you know, you've heard some bad news or you've heard 
nothing and that's why it's bad or I don't know something about communication as well um but let's see because with the moon we have the number energies of 18 and with the five of cups so we've got 23 yeah so we've got uh, with this definitely could be a relationship or even a friendship for some of you guys that has been causing like there's some difficult energies between you two yeah like definitely some frustrating energies sorry i keep just repeating this but it's like you know what this is if this is for you i mean nine of cups nine of swords rather but yeah with that going into then the two and the three and then together we have the eight wow yeah so you could even be leaving someone behind or someone has left or something a connection has had an abruption to it or like there's been words spoken that created frustration or a lack of words spoken um something's happened maybe with a connection let's see what's your message about this then what, what do you need to know about this that the ace of wands there's a lot of passion with the ace of wands there's a lot of maybe blocked passion again a frustrating energy when it comes to communication especially with the page of swords here like we've got all these letters flying around it's like maybe communication there's something to do with that like being up in the air or like i don't know maybe there's a lot of unspoken words or something let's see why spirit's bringing this up because we weren't going to do much detail about it now you know what this situation is if any of this has resonated why what's happening with this for them i'll get you two more cards of what's happening with this situation okay we've got the seven of wands we can see you making an exit out of this we can see you coming out of this situation coming out of this frustrating energy you're being divinely guided out away from this um okay so the star beautiful your spirit guides are very close with you right now they are really supporting you because maybe there has been some difficult energies to work through especially with that five of cups this that five of cups in this deck honestly just breaks my heart you know but they want you to know that they are supporting you and there is something coming out of this you're getting out of this situation it's progressing and moving forward the challenge yeah you're coming out of this challenge you're finding a new light a new path to follow um that is guiding you away from this energy away from this tricky energy um especially if it's involving a connection and this is like healing that's either happening within you surrounding the connection or between you so take whatever resonates <coughs> um but yeah, again, with the star, we've got the number energies of 17, and then we've got the number energies of 7 as well. So give me a sec, guys. I failed maths in school. <laughs> it's 17 and 7, 7. So we've got 24. Wow, okay, 24. Mm, so there's two of ones and the four of ones. You're moving into a much more stable time. Okay, things are really going to be calming down for you regarding this situation. There's going to be an expansion, an opening up of an energy. Yeah, as I said, a new path is opening up, a new way forward. You're setting your eyes forward. You're going to see where to jump next. And it's going to take you out of this like tricky time, this tricky energy, whatever's going on within this connection. That maybe you've been thinking about nighttime, maybe you've been having dreams about or you've been worrying about or there's been a lot of difficult thoughts. There's a new beginning. There's a renewal happening. Two and four. Six. Wow, you even have the lover's energy, you guys. So this is like, yes, there's either communication coming or like understanding coming or like laying things out. Seems like there's a lot of burdens either that you feel or they feel or even with like burdens of being independent um, or working or just being independent, yeah, not needing to rely on anybody. 
Like, I'm getting a, like, scenario come through that's only going to resonate for a few of you, but maybe it's like, oh, a friend was supposed to help you out, and then they bailed, or they didn't help you, or something went wrong, or, yeah, that was, like, this moment, or, like, there was something that happened in your connection that changed the dynamic of things, um, yeah, like, the thing, the structure that you built, the connection you built, it's, like, it's been kind of, like, broken down for some reason, should we see why? Three of Pentacles reversed. Let's get one more card as well. At the Six of Pentacles, you could have felt like there was not an equal give and take. There was, yes, there was like not, like you guys could have felt like you were not seeing things from the same page or like there was just a lot of miscommunications or, um, as I said, like, yeah, maybe someone was, yeah, you just, someone pulled away from someone or didn't, wasn't there for someone or it was a block in like communication or something that you were going to do together because there's kind of work energy as well so this could be like either in a shared community a friendship group or you have shared friends or um you work with them or there's like a work dynamic going on or something like that um but with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles wow a lot of earth energy um there's a lot of independent energy. I feel like both of you are very independent people. I don't know why that's coming through, but maybe that's like something that is relevant to this situation. So that you're both very independent and like hold that very independent energy in the way that you don't like to rely on other people. We've got like King of Cups here. So this could be a water sign or this could be someone that you viewed as like really trustworthy. And like emotionally clear intentions but then something happened like there was like this hermit mode where you guys maybe didn't see each other there was like delays there was like blockages that happened um, so what's coming next for you yeah, there's like this friendship energy and strength coming from this. There's definitely communication that's coming out of unspoken things. There's like things that you guys haven't said to each other that are coming out. Like, or, you know, maybe <clears throat> I get this is understanding. Like if some of you, if this is a friendship or something that there's been things happening, or maybe you haven't had the time to catch up with each other. It's like there's an explanation coming for you is what I get. Very much so. Um, yeah, there's a, <clears throat> there's an ending to this dynamic that is here right now. So that is your reading, you guys. Hopefully that resonated. There's going to be masks coming down, authentic cells being shown, healing. There's going to be transmutation. There's going to be pouring out. So there's going to be more communication. There's going to be less ego interferences when you're talking because like maybe there was just really some frustrating energies both ends and so then when you like were trying to communicate it just got very like complicated and then maybe there was like an ending or a separation or time out or like you know something stifled something and look there's like a renewal or there's the potential there's the potential for a renewal but like honestly it would take them a lot of strength and um it would take both of you coming out and seeing eye to eye and just being courageous together because there's a lot of like um interesting energies that are happening uh, as well but things are like kind of opening up in a really cool way for you guys in this situation um i feel like it's going to take a turn in a new direction things are aligning for you guys there's going to be communication and there's some information coming in for you yeah the, what did i say earlier there's like a taking off of masks with this judgment card energy yeah there's definitely healing and renewal if you want there to be um there's definitely like truth being spoken and coming out and things like that this connection, like this situation, is having a death and a rebirth. This energy is leaving, thank God. That was your message, you guys.
Leave it down in the comments if it resonated. I'm always intrigued to know. Hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll speak to you all soon, my earth angels. Hello, beautiful pile number twos. If you chose this transformation card, this is going to be your reading today uh, for your situation right now. So we can see that you in your situation right now, you are currently transforming from one form into another. Now this is either you, your situation, or both for a lot of you watching. This wind is symbolizing the change that is coming into your situation right now. So if you feel like things are changing for you right now, if you feel like you have been feeling things transforming, meaning you've been wanting to release certain things, you've been making new realizations, you've been uh, getting new perspectives, viewing situations in new ways, then this is going to be your reading today. Um, yes, oh my goodness, so much new fresh energy is here for you guys. With morning, the world awaits you. This is like a new fresh energy and transformation on your routines, on your normal, on your day-to-day. -day. You're feeling brighter, more optimistic. Um, you're enjoying the day-to-day. -day. There's something making you really happy. The world is becoming your oyster. Things are really opening up for you guys. Things are definitely transforming in a big way. There's a lot of potential for new things coming in. New habits, I want to say. New habits, new hobbies, new interests, new ideas, new routines. You are switching things up. Some of you are doing new things. Yes. So we're going to be exploring more in this reading of what it is that's really transforming for you. In your current situation. So bear with me while I shuffle these cards, guys. I get a feeling a lot of you are going to start becoming, to f start feeling like you are getting a lot better rests and sleep. If you've been feeling tired right now, you're going to really start, and this is you've been feeling tired because you're in a transformation. When we're in a transformation, it means we're integrating new energies. So maybe you've been feeling tired right now. Maybe some of you have been feeling that pressure from the new energy integrating in your head in some cases this can be, um, or anything like that. I mean, to transform, it's not always a comfortable process. We're integrating new. So, what is it that's transforming? Wow, okay, we have the Four of Wands. Wow. What is it that's transforming for power number? And the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are really transforming in a way of like really nurturing certain aspects of your life. New areas of your life. Uh, this could be for work for a lot of you. Or this could be like self-care as well. It's like you're really going to be putting yourself as a priority more than you maybe did in the past. The Four of Wands as well. Like you... Are creating a new very firm happy solid foundation there's a lot of new energy that's coming to renew this it's like this foundation these new routines this new energy is going to be based on a new a new feeling a new mindset okay and i feel like there's a lot of more light-hearted energy moving in for you as well and i'm not saying that you could have been feeling uh, really bad or anything right now but again some of you could have been a bit more tired some of you have been dealing with responsibilities um, that you have to deal with whatever that may be for you that maybe takes away from your rest whether that's just work your daily rituals your routine responsibilities that you have to take on for yourself or other people um, but yeah it's like the spring is coming for you so with the queen of pentacles here with 13 and we have the energy of four We've got the energies of 17 with the star. You guys are really aligning with a new version of yourself that is really, really aligned with your inward world, your inner self, your dreamy nature, your very watery souls, um, your really dreamy souls as well, imaginative when it comes to your goals and plans, what you want to work towards. Some of you are wanting to create something for yourself. Um, 
yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, 17. You, yeah, so you have star card energy, very connected to your inward realms and your divine path as well. And I feel like that's what you're, something you're really aligning with right now is transforming into a version of yourself that's very aligned with your divine path, meaning your day-to-day -day is going to feel lighter, your base level of happiness will raise, you've really transmuted a lot of energies from dark to light, whether that be habits, thoughts, um, yeah, you're really starting to do things that serve your highest good, and keep positive intentions, keep positive thoughts, nurture yourself, make sure you're getting enough rest, and things like that, um, and again with the 17 that's eight as well so we've got the eight of pentacles some of you really could be this could be related into your work you're getting a new direction to follow you're getting new habits you're getting a new daily routine something's changing within your work or just that your kind of direction yeah your direction could be changing more aligned with what makes you happy you're really putting yourself as a first priority is what i get Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we have Divine Intervention here. Wow, I didn't expect that to come out. And the King of Wands. Wow, so a lot of passion, a lot of motivation, a lot of drive to get things done. Um, you may be getting new ideas, new plans, new goals, new projects. You're getting a whole lot of renewed energy and with that comes a lot of motivation to do, to take action. Um, you're becoming very sure and a lot more cleared up of the path ahead that you want for yourself, that you want for your future how you want to live in your day-to-day -day for you to feel happy and fulfilled. Um, there's a lot of divine timing here. And with divine timing comes patience as well. You've been very patient about something and you're finally getting to a point where something's opening up for you. Again, this could be to do with your passions. This could be to do with your work, your hobbies, your goals. Uh, but with the King of Wands, there's a very decisive energy. And I feel as if I, I see you guys in this transformation really just getting a lot of fire energy you're getting up in the morning and be like do you know what i'm doing this i'm gonna be optimistic i'm gonna set my intentions for the day i'm a manifester i'm a creator of my reality and like really taking control that's what it feels like it feels like you're taking control of your situation your direction your journey and really like being like you know what i create the life that i want and so you're deciding what you want and you're going to start creating that. And this is all very divinely timed, you guys, with the Wheel of Fortune as well. Um, so you're coming into a brand, brand new cycle, an ending of the old and a hello to the brand new and fresh, brand new version of yourself that is also a lot more confident and knows what you deserve. I feel like you guys, maybe in the past, could have undervalued yourself or... Maybe what you want for yourself and you're deciding, actually, I deserve the best. I deserve everything that I dream of and could want and imagine to have. That's what I deserve. And I'm going to start shaping my life to attaining and aligning with those goals as well, uh, is what I really get. So we've got 14 returns. So we've got 24. So we've got six. Yeah, there could be something that you're really passionate about that's starting to come in. Maybe this is like a fresh new, brand new, awakened energy because some of you are discovering something that you deep, like you deeply love and are passionate about. Um, maybe some of you, this is a connection that's coming in. For a lot of you, this is a passion of yours um, that you're really connecting with and taking on and, and going down that path. Um, 24. Yeah, so with the six as well, the six of wands. Yeah, you are, you're aligning yourself with the success right now, guys. You're aligning yourself with ideas, with creativity, with motivation, with momentum, all of those beautiful things. Wow, so you're taking judgment. Yeah, you're taking judgment definitely for sure. You're like, oh, what's actually helping me to expand? What's not helping me? What's What do I want to take with me in this brand new energy? And what do I want to leave behind? What kind of things, what kind of person do I want to be? And what do I want to leave in the past? Uh, what things do I want to transmute? What things aren't really serving me anymore uh what things aren't bringing me fulfillment in my day-to-day -day? like what can i do to feel refreshed revitalized and renewed because i'm sick of the same old same old is maybe what some of you felt like and this is what's coming is a complete brand renewal these daffodils 
this judgment card energy beautiful judgment and the will the empress you're really stepping into your own power your own divine feminine you're taking control of your path your wants your needs your goals you're following them you're becoming very courageous yeah you're becoming very determined that you will create a really beautiful legacy for yourself even if you don't know what that is yet you even just knowing like you want to do that like that's that's good enough for the universe to make a plan for you guys and they have and that's why you're transforming because you're aligning with that plan because you've decided i want to create something beautiful for myself that i'm really happy with in this lifetime i know i have the potential to be so remember that you do because some of you could have been knocked in the past by delays or setbacks or you know things that didn't really turn out very well or you know anything like that um but know that this doesn't mean that that's forever that this was just a pause things that you think failed were just a pause and they're coming back round for some of you old relationships are coming back round old friendships for some of you maybe it's old passions interests yeah but there's this feeling of like yeah do not be discouraged from past if anything like kind of didn't go to plan in the past or didn't meet your expectations or didn't pan out how you thought Spirit saying, don't think that this is always going to be the case. There's some beautiful twists and turns coming for you. Oh, definitely. They're going to really light you up. They're going to make you feel uplifted. Like you're absolutely just soaring off up and away to the moon, you guys. Wow, you're coming to a massive accomplishment, achievement, fulfillment, and end of a whole chapter and journey of your life. You know when you feel like life's in chapters and journeys? That's what you're coming to the end right now. You're coming to the end of one and with looking back you're going to be able to distinct, distinctly differentiate this phase you're coming into now from the rest because there's going to be significant changes happening especially one of them being your intuition up leveling um you really becoming tapped into your true soul and like suppressed and hidden dreams hidden ones hidden emotions things that were holding you back you're letting them go Yes, and you have the potential to really get everything that you deserve, and you're getting the ideas to do that now. So maybe you're someone that's always thought, like, I know I want this for myself and this, but maybe struggled in the specifics of things. Well, this, this, the specifics are coming in for you guys, for sure. The specifics, sorry, just ignore my nail, you guys. <laughs> the specifics are coming in for you, for sure. You are aligning with manifestations and goals of yours that are really going to feel, make you feel really achieved. I see you waking up in the morning and feeling really excited for the day and really just bright and optimistic for the future and where things are taking you that you're working on. So that's been your reading, you guys. I love you all so much and I will speak to you soon. So beautiful part number threes. If you chose this spell jar card, this is going to be your reading for your situation right now. So for you guys, I really see you setting intentions um this is for something specific but you've been setting intentions you've been manifesting maybe even consciously manifesting uh, and putting it out there to the universe that you want something to happen you're trying to manifest a specific outcome or you're trying to manifest something for yourself that you are desiring yeah so i see you connecting and and deepening your intentions towards this putting it out there to the universe we're going to find out a bit more about what this is about but interestingly enough, your oracle card, you guys, you've got shark. Swim away from this situation. Very interesting energy. So if you've been dealing with anyone right now that you think, do you know, they're not good for me or, you know, I'm not sure. We're going to actually really deep dive into this because this could be many different situations for you guys. But take your own interpretation, like when you look at it, does this remind you of something right now? What is spirit telling you to swim away from? Or there's something that you're being cautious about, maybe? But it's interesting how these two came out together, like there's something you're manifesting, but at the same time, you're very cautious about something. First of all, we're going to look at what it is that you're manifesting. Some of you could be manifesting an end to a difficult relationship, is what I get. Sorry if you can hear the shower, guys. It's right next to my room. It's 
So let's take a shower. Someone's cleansing, they're washing away negative energy. That's what you guys are doing. You're like wanting to wash your hands of something. Or, I don't know. If this has resonated so far, then this is going to be a reading because we just got Father Wands come out. This is a lot of inner conflict. This is a lot of protective energy. Ooh. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of like scatteredness. Um, so let's see with this. So the cup, Seven of Cups is emotional confusion. Maybe you're thinking, what is going on with someone? Or should I, you know, is this, is maybe there's someone that you want to get away from or a situation that you think is not serving your highest good. Or maybe you're thinking someone has ulterior motives or intentions to maybe what they're saying. Like they're trying to get the better of you or like take advantage of you or just use you for something. I don't know. Take this if it resonates because this isn't going to be anything that's new to you if this is your pile and it's resonated so far. Um, I see you really being very wise about this. I think you already know about this. I think you already know because you're manifesting a solution to this. Uh, either, you know, you getting away or something like that. But we've got seven and five here. So we've got conflicting energies. We've got, you know, I mean, look at this card. We've got some fighting dogs and we've got the divine swooping in, look, to intervene. You guys, there's divine intervention for you within something, within a connection, a situation that has been a bit shady. There's divine intervention coming for you. Be sure of it. You have been manifesting it. <laughs> You've been manifesting this, you guys. Um, yeah, so with the 12 as well. Ooh yeah you've been waiting for something for quite some time maybe or just a bit there's there's wait yeah there's like something waiting to happen there's like a culmination waiting to happen or like this situation hasn't reached its peak yet there's something happening and that's why it's coming up in this reading today uh but yeah there's hanged man energy here maybe feeling of a bit stuck or like what do i do and that's why it's like reaching out to universe and being like please universe intervene and yes they are we can clearly see universe intervening, they're picking up the pieces of something, they're putting it back together. Um, they're really going to be divinely intervening with this and creating more harmony again. There's going to be, yeah, this situation, it's going to be resolved, um, it's going to be resolved for the future is what I get. Like, as time goes on, this is going to come out and be rebalanced. Um... Yes, okay, there's going to be celebration on your side about something. You might even get new people come in or friends come in that help you in this situation. Or there's like people connected to you that can help you in this situation. Um, and they are. The Page of Cups reversed, interesting. Yeah, so the Page of Cups reversed in this one. I love the Page of Cups, but I, th I feel like a lot of the time... I feel like this page of cups is resembling you as this mermaid here on the right. See how she's so kind, caring. You know, you're such a kind, caring person. And it's like, there's someone, and you know this. If I'm saying this, don't be scared because you know what this is. There's someone, look, trying to take advantage because they think you're the this sweet page of cups who, you know, like is naive. But no, your page of cups uh, on the dark side, meaning you're protected okay your page of cups but you see straight through people your page of cups and you're strong and you uh have already faced your demons and so this is why you're the one coming out successful you're the one that's coming out on top in this situation so page of cups holds 11 energy yeah 11 energy so justice justice is being served look at you standing and receiving your good karma okay justice energy and then so 11 is 17 yeah spirit is intervening in this we've got extra confirmation with these condensed numbers uh adding up to 17 being the star card and then we've also got eight coming out of that yeah this situation is being left in the past there's someone being left behind there's positive progression away from this okay there's distance being made between you and this person there's uh this situation moving on there's you coming out on top, you manifesting your desired outcome with something, you getting the better of this situation, because I feel someone has not got the best intentions here. There's balance being reached in this. 
there's yes definitely you standing in your authentic independent power you are hopping out of there <laughs> hopping away from this situation look at that without a scrape without a scrape leave that in the past like yeah mm -hmm. mm. oh my god the eight of cups i knew it i already got the eight of sorry you guys but <laughs> get really passionate about it because i already thought about the eight of cups and now it's out and it's just like you're leaving this behind this situation is being left in the past um you know it's I, th I feel like it's yet to come to a head yet to come to a decision yet for this decision to be made but it is happening it's happening right now um yeah this being released devil the ties are being released you're not going to be bound to this anymore you're not going to be bound to this person or these constraints or this like you know just like ugh, tied up energy look at this justice is coming for you I <laughs> I'm actually, I'm just going to say it. Justice has been served. Shayla, if you're watching this, justice has been served, okay? That's an inside joke I have. <laughs> With my soul sister, and I know she watches part three, and it's just hilarious that justice has come out, because I filmed a reading before this, and then didn't put it up, because the sound got messed up. And this message in this, in that part, was exactly the same as this. Not only that, I've just filmed one for my Instagram uh, or writ one up for my Instagram and I've posted it and this was the exact same message as well. Look at this. Sadness, loss, defeat, uh, worrisome energy. You've really been through a lot in this situation, you know. There's been loss involved. There's been devastation involved. Look, this, this, that, this card in this deck, in this Five of Cups particularly, breaks my heart. Like, this is an owl in the nest. And look, it's either that her egg, eggs have hatched and they've flown away and she's missed them, or more likely, someone has come and she, they have stolen her eggs. They have eaten her eggs, they've broken it. And that is devastating. With the Three of Swords as well, like, wow. So you've been through a lot in this situation. Know that you do deserve your karma back, your good energy. There's going to be a rebalancing, there's healing happening as well. Look, there's new realizations being made that will create balance in this situation as well. Temperance in the tower. By the way, if I ever go silent, you guys, it's because I'm trying to like do the maths in my head because I condense down the numbers together. Um, uh, I just have a weird way of doing it, but we've got 14 and 16, okay? So that's... Mm -mm -mm -mm. We've got 30, okay? We've got three coming out which is the empress okay we've got you coming out on top we've got you becoming this empress energy standing in your power standing in your worth getting everything that you deserve you're abundant okay you're a divine nurturer and yes there is clarity that is being blocked right now but it's making its way to you it is making its way to you truth will be spoken that is what I'm getting for you guys. I hopefully this reading has resonated so far. I'm so sorry you've had to be in this situation, but look, the world, the, this is ending. Judgment is being taken. Spirit is judging this. Oh my goodness. And divine, this is a perfect way to end your reading. Look at these major arcanas. Where something feels really stuck, feels tangled, very complicated energy, very knotted up. Divine intervention is taking place. There's going to be completion of this. There's going to be closure of this. There's going to be balance. There's going to be judgment made. Look. Judgment. That's karma coming back round and, and realigning and balancing the situation. And then just to end it off, four major arcanas. Look at that, guys. You moving into a brighter time away from this situation. We've got the star intervening, helping you with healing. You are the empress. And just remember that, you guys. So I love you all so much. This has been your reading. Hopefully it has resonated for you guys. Leave down in the comments below if it did. I'm always interested to know uh, if you feel comfortable, of course. Um, I love you all so much and I'll speak to you very soon.